Hello, Captains! This is The Doctor, and this is Star Trek Online, and today we are going to go take a look at the Summer Event 2017 happening on Risa. So the Summer Event is finally live in Stowe. It came out on June the 8th, and it will continue until July the 20th. So that's the time frame you have for the Summer Event. If you have not seen my news page video, go check that video out. And in that video, I, will, I discussed all the new things to go do in the summer event and how you get the vouchers. And then I went over the new free ship you were getting, which is a Vorgon carrier this time. Uh, it's a free ship and you can get it through the summer event. Obviously, it's technically not really free because you have to put the time in to do the work to get the ship. And doing the calculations, I believe someone calculated it uh, the other day, it's about 21 days or so if you do the um, floater thing once a day to get your vouchers. It takes about 21 days to get the, um, the ship. So you do have to put that time in to get it. I would get started right now on it if your intention is to get the ship. But in this video, we're going to go explore all the fun things to do in the summer event. Now, there's not a lot of new stuff. Really, there's only one new event, and that's called the Biathlon. So every other event you've seen before, I've actually made videos of past summer events. And you can go check those out and see those past events. They're pretty much going to be exactly the same as I'm going to show you today. Now, I am on my character, The Last Doctor. Uh, I'm using this character, he's an engineer, because he has a very good floater and a very good power board. I have invested the time and resources in the past to get him to the point where he's got a good floater and a good uh, power board. So let me switch to my brand new, that I just made before making this video, outdoor look. Check that out. So now we have a full outdoor look on this character. We've got... Uh, just a basic uh, shirt there and pants and we're barefoot and we're ready to go to Risa. So let's head to Risa. Let's do that. Now one way you can get there is just to beam up and go to Risa planet in the sector space yourself. Or a faster way is you can bring up, not that, you can bring up your mission thing and right here you've got the Little Nut Summer Festival thing. Click that, hit transwarp and it'll take you straight there. Unfortunately, I don't own any swimwear, or I would put swimwear on, but I don't have swimwear. Okay, now all we gotta do is fly a little bit closer to the planet, and we'll be able to beam down. We want to beam to the Summer Resort. That's the one you want to go to. So the goal of this video is simply that I am going to play all of the Summer Event things going on, and I've got some overlapping HUD menus here I'm seeing. Let me move that over here. So this is what you want to pay attention to. The power board race is about to start. So let's actually go do that so I don't miss that now. Let's do site to site. Beam to, is it promenade? Is that where you go? I'm not sure. I forgot, I forgot where the power board one is at. But I want to get in on all these. So we don't miss any of these here. Um, power board race, where are you at? Ah, uh, yeah, it is over here. And I've got this power board right here. Check this out. God, come on. Am I in the right area? I must not be in the right area or something's going on here. Well, I'll have to uh, come back to that then because I just missed it. I might be in the wrong place for the power board race. Either that or nobody decided to show up for the power board race. I was pretty sure that this was the power board race right here. Although I could be wrong. Let's go back to the resort. I've already started off terribly in this video. <laughs> well, my goal anyways, I'm going to show you all of these events. So we're going to go through them. We'll figure it out. So here's my new look. This is great. Ready to go. One of the first things you want to do is you want to not do that you want to go here to the event tab not here you want to go here to the event tab reputation tab events 
and you want to go to claim a board. That's the carrier. But I thought you also had to start the... Where's the thing you have to start? There should be like a thing to start the... Uh, to start the event here. Maybe not. I thought so. I thought there was like a thing where you have to go to so that you can open up the store to the summer event. But mine is already open. I don't know what's happening. Somehow my store is already open, but I didn't add the event. So that's weird. Well, we'll go through the store and see what's available in a little bit. The two things that I have that I'll be using is I've got this floater here, which I purchased last year, I think. This is a Risa floater, superior black, plus 50 flight speed, superior flight maneuverability. This is an awesome floater. It really works well. And then I got the Risa mini power board, elite future flyer. It was a reward a long time ago, and I got that as well to use as my power board. So I got a good floater and a good board for doing these things. Let's do the very first thing, which is the uh, thing where you're actually going to get the vouchers from. It's this right here. The um, Not this right here. It's over here. This lady right here. She is where you want to go to do the flying high. You want to accept flying high. And this is where you're going to get your Lowell Nut prize vouchers. This is where you're going to get 40 of them once a day. It's every like 20 hours is a cooldown. So you want to accept that. And uh, you want to do this, and this is going to get you your vouchers. This is the, you, all you have to do is this. If you do nothing else in the game, nothing else for the summer event, if you just do this, this goes toward getting this ship right here, the Vorgon ship. So let's start this, and uh, let's go ahead and let's see. Circle the inner caldera, spiral the great tower, circle the peak, follow the jungle road. Now with this floater here, the maneuverability on it is really good. Plus it looks really cool. But my flight speed is pretty fast and my maneuverability is pretty fast. So I can actually do the hard ones on here pretty easily. And basically you just follow the course and there is a time limit. You've got 10 minutes, basically. Which is plenty of time. And the course is different every time you fly this. So every time you do this, every day you do this, it will be a, a little different. See, that one was pretty easy. Okay, let's do this one. See how quickly I can come to a stop and turn on with this with this floater. Maneuverability is really good with this floater. And it's way faster than the standard free one you get, the rental you get. Really pays off to spend the money on a very rare one. See how easy and quick that is? There's one back there, but let's go to this one over here. Then we'll finish up on that one. Yeah, these very rare floaters, people do ask the question, is it really worth spending the money and uh, the lol nuts and getting the superior or very rare flyer? Um, and the answer to that question is yes. It is very much worth it, especially if you're going to go for the ship. Because you'd have to do this every day, 20 or 21 days of doing this. And it really goes smoother, quicker, and faster with a um, very rare floater like this. It's so much more enjoyable, too. You have much more control. So even these hard ones like this one that has really tight turns is really pretty simple with, the, um, with this floater. And look how tight I can quickly make stops and turn... So no longer are these intimidating with a floater like that. There we go. We're all done. I didn't, you only have to do three out of the four. And now we can go back to the beginning and turn this in. And then we'll get our lol nuts. Or our vouchers. 
We'll just go ahead and site to site transport back to the resort. And pretty much we have flying high done. Just gotta go turn this in. There we go, continue, and there you go. 40 low nuts. Um, now you can repeat, repeat flying high every 11 minutes. However, you are only going to get the 40 prize vouchers every 20 hours, so once a day for that. But that's the event you want to do, and then when you go to your inventory, you'll see you have 40 of the prize vouchers going toward the ship. And then when you come down to the ship, you can add, you know, 40 out of 1,000. So you just got to keep doing that every day. And it really, as you see, it takes like, it takes less than 10 minutes and you're done. So really, it doesn't take a lot of time to do that event if you want to go for the ship, which is, I think, the reason why there's, you know, a lot of people are here. They want a free ship. If nothing else, it's a free starship trait as well and a free admiralty card. So that's the ship and uh, that's the event to do it. And it's as simple as that. Now, if you want to keep doing the event, I think you do get lull nuts after that for it. So that would help you to buy things like the floater, for example. Okay, we got a Horgon hunt is currently going. Um, I have shown that in the future. I don't think that I ever finished one completely. But basically the vendor for that, I believe is over here. Yes, and this is the Horgon Collector. We can go ahead, it's not, I mean, right now we're, we're way into the time frame on this, but I'm just going to do this for demonstration purposes. Um, we got to find 10 Horgons, and they are, map, are marked on your map. And for this, you are also going to want a floater. It's going to be a lot quicker with a floater. There's one right over here. And basically, you just have to go looking for the Horgons. Where are they? Ah, there's one. Collect a Horgon. And you just gotta do that ten or nine more times. I doubt I can get this done in the time I have left, because I did start this late. But I am just gonna do a few more, just to kind of show you how it works. And the reward for this is the Lull Nuts. The Lull Nut favors which allows you to buy the items in the store. Quite simple. This is again all the same from last year and the previous year. Nothing really different with this event. Really the new events the Biathlon and like I told you guys that's the one I'm looking forward to trying out because that's the brand new event this year. So there's two of ten Horgons. And yeah, so you can see how a floater really helps you to find these things quicker. Somewhere around here is another one. Huh. It's like right around here. Where is it? There it is. Hiding down here in a corner. Come on. Get closer. You have to get real close to it. Okay. I got three of ten. But these very rare floaters, they go real fast. They go a lot faster than the standard ones. So that helps in something like this. Should be one right down here. Yep. Up, oh, there's one right here. Says there's two over here. They must be farther away. Okay, let's go back this way. Let's 
Should be one over here. Here we go. It's, it's hiding too. There's one over here. One over here or somewhere. It's one of those bird things. Might be up here. Oh, here we go. We've already got seven of ten. I might make this. I want to give it a shot. Did start late, so I'm not surprised if, if, if we fail. But you guys get the point. You can see how this is done. Then you would turn it in and get your little nuts. Well, there's 8 of 10. I might make this, guys. Nine, and then here we go. Here's one right over here. Well, there we go. Now we can see what the full reward is. I got my 10. You found the Horgons. Come get a bonus reward. Okay, I got three minutes. Now, as long as you turn it in within the three minutes, you'll get that reward. But if you wait too long, uh, you will not get that uh, big reward. So let's just beam back to the resort. That way we can fly right to it. And turn in my Horgons. There we go, 75 Lulnut favors. So there you go, that's what you get when you do it during the time that it's the event is going for. Yeah, you get 75, so heck, heck, heck of a good roundup there. That didn't take but like six minutes, five minutes, whatever, and we were done. So even though I started late on that event, I was still able to finish it uh, in on time. And that was with this uh, really good floater here, so. Yeah, very rare floater. Definitely helps if you're going to be doing a lot of these events. Okay, the biathlon starts in three minutes, and that's the one I'm real curious about because that's the new race. That's the new one that's here this year. It is both a combination of powerboard racing and floater racing, and I'm wondering how that's going to work out. I also need to find out where it's at. It says start near Quinn's camp and race around the island, then fly over the trails to the volcano. So this will be interesting. I have not done it before, so I'm, I hope I can figure it out. Now, one thing that's not here this year, to the disappointment of everybody, is the dance-off. The dance competition is gone. Look at this. It's gone. All you have is the Horgon Hunt, the Biathlon, an Artifact Scavenger Hunt, Powerboard Race, Biathlon, and it continues and on and on and on. No more do you have the dance, the dance party. Now what this dance thing was, was you had like a DJ here and you had uh, partners here on the dance floor and you had to repeat dance moves. They did a dance move and then you had to like do it. You had to like do what dance move they said. And then you would, uh, I think you would get low nuts for it. Well, it's no longer here, so I don't know why they took that out. I'm, I'm actually kind of, kind of sad that that's gone. It was a fun little component. It was a fun little component that added to the overall atmosphere of the RISA summer event. So, kind of a thing, it's kind of a disappointment. What is here, however, is I believe this mysterious guy is still here. He may, he may only show up at night. But there's a guy on the beach that will show up, and he has, like, things you can do, like you can scav find, try to find things, He's, and with them, I don't know, some kind of thing. But he only shows up at a certain time. I say nighttime, but the summer event on Risa no longer has a nighttime. Yeah, they took that away. Um, when they upgraded to Lighting 2.0, the day-night cycle was broken in uh, in this map. So it no longer has a day-night cycle. It's just daytime all the time now, which is unfortunate. 
All right, now it says to go to Quinn's camp for this biathlon, and I do want to do this. So let's beam to Quinn's camp, and we'll try this thing out. I don't know what to expect here. Never done this before. So I'm not sure if I need to pick something up. This is Artifact Hunter Quinn, but he does that. Yeah, that's not this. I think, I guess we just wait. I'm not really sure. It's said to come here, and I know it starts with a power board. And the power board I'll be using is this one here, but I'm not sure what I need to do. Ah, okay. Now we, this is, so what happens is basically everything just spawns in right here. And you have the starting line. We have other people here. That's good. Um, let's join the biathlon. Now I guess we're a part of it. Let's get on our power board. And it's been a long time, guys, since I've used a power board. So wish me luck. <laughs> but... What I'm going to find, what I'm going to find interesting is when Activating we... Activating a floater is grounds for immediate disqualification. Whoa, I didn't know that. Okay, okay, so we can't use a floater. Or we get disqualified until it says so, I guess. So note to self, don't hit floater. <laughs> Just hit power board for right now. I can't back up. I'm trying to back up out of out of this guy, but I can't actually do that. Whoa, okay, this is this is different. I'm trying to remember what this is like. Wow, this, we're going pretty fast. And I am hitting the jumps and getting the speed boosts. Oh, we got another start here. Whoa, I came off my board. I don't know when we get on the power board. I mean, not the power board, the um, floater, though. Shoot, 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 shoot. I'm disqualified. What? I didn't mean to leave the track. It was an accident. Uh, well, I'm going to finish anyway. I don't care if I'm disqualified. <laughs> I'm going to finish. Okay, that last turn, you got to watch that last turn. Really got to watch that last turn. So it looks like now we're going through Stargates. So that's neat. So this is where a uh, very rare floater will definitely give you an advantage here. Because these have a faster fly rate, flying rate, speed rate. But I can't believe I'm disqualified. Because I that turn, that turn got me. I went outside the bounds of that turn. Dang. All right. I got to watch that. I'm going to have to practice or something and figure that out. Well, I'm going to do this again. We're going to do this again on the next biathlon. Because I want to make a place. I, I want a place. I don't want to disqualify. Well, at least I finished. Even if I'm disqualified, I finished. I finished at heart. That sucks though that I was disqualified be simply because I went out of bounds. So I really, let's go back to, I wanna see that area. I wanna go back to that area where you have to make that big turn. Cause dang, that was a heck of a turn too. You saw that. Uh, it's not over here. I'm not even sure where it's at now. Dang. Okay, well, I'm going to do the biathlon again. Let's see. We got artifact, scavenger hunt, then a power board race. I'll do that. And then another biathlon in 25 minutes. 
So I am definitely going to do it again, and I'll record it, and uh, maybe I'll I'll try to slow down a little or do better on that last turn. That's what we need to watch out for. Now you can earn bonus rewards from completing artifact scavenger hunt. I don't know where you go to do artifact scavenger hunt. Is it Quinn? It might be. So let's wait till that one starts. Okay, I like the biathlon. I just can't believe I messed up on that. But it was the first time I've ever done it. So, you know, whatever. Let's set a rocket off in midair. Oh, it didn't go far. I was going to follow it. Yeah, so it seems like there's not as much to do here as there used to be. There was also the sandcastle building. Have they taken sandcastle building out, or is that still a thing you can do? I'm going to check real quick, because I don't know. Where is that even located? I think that's located at the promenade, isn't it? Or near there. We'll come back here in a second. But I want to see if the sandcastle building is still there. It was over in this area. Oh, I guess maybe it's still here. You just have to talk to this guy. Yeah, castles in the sand. Okay, that's still there. So you can do that event as well. So some of these events you just have to find... You just have to find the person to talk to to start it. Now, I'm just guessing that this is Artifact Scavenger Hunt. I'm just guessing, because I don't know. 20 lol nuts for it. So basically you can earn bonus rewards from completing the artifact hunt during the time that it starts. So I'm going to wait until it starts. And I might not finish this, but I'll just do a couple of them here. It begins in uh, now. Okay, now for a limited time you get bonus rewards. So if I complete it within 13 minutes, I get bonus rewards. Now the thing about this one is... Look for the artifact. Is it was kind of difficult. You are, uh, Yeah, I don't like this one because it says... It says if you're closer or farther away, but it doesn't tell you really what direction to go to. Now I'm further. Now I'm closer. <laughs> now I'm closer. Now I'm closer. I've never liked this one. Now I'm closer. really not helpful. Now I'm further. Yeah, I don't like this one at all. I think that's why a lot of people probably don't do this one. The It's just not very fun. If they could take out anything, they take out this one. Leave some of the other fun stuff. This is actually rather boring. Yep, this is boring. Wow, 
Wow. Every time I hit it, I'm closer, <laughs> but how much closer? I don't know. Yeah, this is not fun. I'd say they could do without this scavenger hunt thing. I don't like this one. Maybe some of you out there do enjoy this, but not me. If you do enjoy this one, let me know in the comments. Let me know if I'm doing this wrong. See, now I'm further that way. But I just don't know. This is not my idea of fun. The Horgon Hunt, that's kind of fun because you're constantly moving around looking for them and they're on their map so you know where you're going. This one, I don't even know what I'm looking for. An artifact, what's an artifact? I don't know. I have no idea what I'm looking for. At all. This is kind of bleh. Basically, I'm just biding time until the next event. Power board race in 11 minutes. I guess we could check out the sandcastle one real quick. Really, I got no idea. No idea. I mean, it just constantly says I'm closer, but I don't know. Is it in this thing? Come on, let me in there. Okay, well, I'm going to give up on this one because I don't like it. Sorry. But, yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think of that one. The uh, You'll get 50 lol nuts. It's not even as much as the Horgon one. I like the Horgon one a lot better. But, we do have the Power Board race. But let's first go back to the Promenade and let's check out um, the Sandcastle building. While we wait for the Power Board race. Uh, I'm stuck under a, an umbrella. Castles in the sand. Find a good spot to build a sculpture. 20 lol nuts for it. What the heck just went through the land? Some kind of person just went through the world. Fet fetch damp sand. Okay. Finish before the sand falls apart. Um, let's build a flat keep. Don't even know what that is, but we're building it. I need more damp sand. More damp sand! Glow bugs. Oh, crap. Get away, glow bugs. Shoo. Oh, 
Rocks, rocks, rocks. Where might I find rocks? Complete the sculpture. I got one minute. Maybe I can make it. All right, accolade complete. I'm a sand castle stalwart. Optional fetch sticks. Yeah, let's do the optional. Yay, okay, I did it. That's my sandcastle, everybody. I'm awesome. I can make sandcastles. 20 lol nuts for that. It's not a lot, but this is an easy event to do, and you can repeat it every 20 minutes. So there you go. If you want some easy lol nuts, build a sandcastle. Doesn't take too long. You can do it every 20 minutes. You get 20 lol nuts. Not bad. Not bad for that. So this one is good. The Horgon Hunt is good for lol nuts. The Power Board Race is going to be good. I like the Power Board Race. And then, of course, we did the Floater. We could do the Floater one again because you can repeat that. Well, actually, I will. I think I will do it again. But I am definitely going to do... Oh, there's the Dance Off. Wait a minute. Dance Off is here? Wait a minute. I was lied to... Somebody told me that the um, dance-off was canceled or not in the game. Maybe it was just a bug or something. Join the dancers at the resort's dance floor and show off your moves to earn rewards. Okay, they have it then. I was wrong. I apologize. I was told, uh, or somebody told me in the chat the other day that the uh, dance-off was gone. Well, they lied. <laughs> so, I guess it's not gone. It's here. They uh, just didn't know. So anyway, there you go. The dance off exists. So I don't know if I'll do that or not, but it does exist. <laughs> so, okay. My bad. My bad on that one. You guys were probably screaming at your screen when you when I said that earlier in the video. You were probably like, no, it exists. It exists. You're wrong. You're an idiot. You're right. I'm an idiot. I was wrong. Well, I am looking forward to the power board race in four minutes. Is this the guy? No, that's a player. I swear there's a guy that comes out here that has a thing for you. Here we are back at the beginning. We are going to take a look at the store, so stay tuned for the video here after I do the powerboard race and then the biathlon. We are going to go through the vendor in the the store vendor and see what things are available this year to buy. So do keep that in mind. We will be looking through the store. I just wanted to get these events done so we not not so not to miss them. Power board race in three minutes. Yes, I'm looking forward to that power board race. You know what I think I'll do in fact while we're waiting for the power board race to start? Let me practice a little with the power board to see if I can make turns better without like you know, having to go outside the bounds like I did the last time. Because that's really what I need to practice is those turns. I need to get those turns down a lot better. I'm terrible at them. So let's do a little bit of practice run here with the board, shall we? Looks like that's the start line for the power board. So let's use it, in fact. Let's get on a power board. Now it's the turns. So that turns that way. I can, I really can't come to a stop very fast. That's about as fast as I can come to a stop. So, how do I turn? Oh, there we go. I 
I guess the key is just not to be going very fast to make those turns unless I can turn like all the way around so that I can not move backwards far. I don't know how that really helps. Well... I guess I just gotta be careful. Cause I can't really stop very fast. Well, we're going to give this a shot anyway. Power board race in one minute, and I am ready. And then after the power board race, we are going to do the biathlon. Going to try it again. Maybe I won't get disqualified this time. That would be really great. And then after the biathlon, we will go take a look at the vendor store and see what's available to buy this year. Now, already on low nuts, let's see, I've got, how many low nuts do I have? Where are my low nuts at? Where are my low nuts at? Where are all my low nuts? I guess I have leftover, some leftover from last year, so I got 182 right now. Where are my low nuts at? Where are my low nuts at? There are my low nuts now. There are my low nuts now. I see my low nuts. Do you see my low nuts? We all got low nuts. Hooray, low nuts. Collecting my low nuts all up in the rice. Uh, collecting my low nuts in the summer event. Let's do join the race. All right. Begins in one minute. You're outside of the starting Shoot. area. Shoot, I already dis disqualified. I'm already disqualified. <laughs> okay, let's do this again. Uh, get in here, my friend. Join the race. Oh, man. Tell you what. I'm terrible. Picking up my low nuts all over the place. There's a low nut, there's a low nut, everybody's a low nut. Alright, let's boogie. Competitive racers, on your mark. Get set, go! Come on. Well, it looks like I'm going this way. No, 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 not not outside, not outside, not outside, not outside, not outside. Holy crap. That was close, folks. That was real close. No! I think I made it. I'm not sure if I actually have succeeded here. Holy crap, I'm outside the, the track. Shoot! You are disqualified. Hold on. All right. You know what? I give up. <laughs> Jeez. I don't All right, I'm going to finish this anyway. So I failed that. 
The problem is I'm going too fast. I'm making these turns and going too fast. Okay, well, I can't finish because I'm disqualified. Again! Holy monkey balls. I cannot believe I'm disqualified again. Those stupid turns. Those stupid turns. Yes, jump! Jump, my minions! Jump! Jump for all you've got! Jump, 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 smash! Jump, smash! Jump, smash! Jump, smash! Okay, I really gotta practice those turns, my gosh, that's terrible. It's because I'm going too fast. I get the power-ups where you um, gain speed and then I can't make the turn. So the speed is good, but the turn is not. I'm trying to find the big turn, the one where it like where I lost where I lost it. I guess it was like right here or something. I don't know. Maybe right there. I'm going to retrace my steps, see where I lost that turn. Now the power-ups aren't working, but yeah, it's like this. I don't know, somewhere, I guess maybe it was right here, I lost it. Dang, can't believe that. Oh well, I tried. Let's go to Gwyn's camp and get ready for the biathlon. Because that's next. And I'm going to try to slow down this time. Maybe if I just don't go real fast, I can at least finish. Well, we got the biathlon starting in one minute, so this will be good. We'll do this one once more with feeling. Whoa, dude just built a sandcastle right there. Don't know how that happened, but okay, cool. Okay, let's get this on. Joined the biathlon. Got on my power board, zoom out a little. Okay, we're gonna try this again, everybody. 
if I fail this again or get disqualified, I'm just I'm still gonna complete it, but whatever. I I just need we'll have to do more practice or whatever. But you get the idea anyway, and you'll see how to do it, so you can go forth and do this if you like. But maybe I won't get disqualified. I'm definitely gonna try. I'm gonna slow down a little bit, we'll see what happens. Sixteen seconds. I may not hit all the jumps. We'll see. Means I won't be first place, but I I gotta at least not get disqualified. That's kind of my goal right now. I'm stuck. Well, that was terrible. I was trying to get the jump at the end there, but then I got stuck. Okay, I did get a speed boost. Yes, I did the turn this time without getting disqualified. I'm still in this. I'm still in this. And I got a good floater. Actually, the power board is pretty good, too. All of it's good. The only thing I don't like is at the end, you have to grab the flag real quick before somebody else grabs it for you, which can make you lose your place. I don't even know what place I'm in. I wish it would show what place you were in. That would be really cool. Ooh, I might be third. Ooh, I, I think I did third. Accolade complete. Tepid. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I'm going to have to replay the video because I was trying to grab the thing. Did I come in third on that? If I did, then I did better than I did last time. <laughs> but even if I didn't, I at least did finish. So, hallelujah for that. Did not get disqualified this time. Which is a plus. <laughs> because... Wow. Okay. So, what did we get for that? Let's go back and see. I didn't even notice. You received 112 specialization experience, 100 expertise, resolved the mission, and I got an accolade, and I got some amount of... I got tropical tags times 3. I got lol nut favor times 25. Yeah, right here. You placed 3rd in the summer biathlon. Okay, so I did place 3rd. I'm very happy about that because, hey, the last time I was disqualified. Okay, success, finally. So what you what I've learned is, is that last turn, don't take the speed ups. <laughs> Just don't take the speed ups. Accuracy over speed up on the last turn. Every other place, speed up. The last place, accuracy over speed up. Got it. And uh, there you go, third place. Awesome. Not a lot of low nuts. Not as many as I thought I would get, but. Not bad for a very quick event. Now I got a total of 207. So that's the new event, everybody. That's the biathlon. That is uh, pretty good, pretty fun right there. A power board race plus a floater race put together. Basically all that is. But something new to do, so that's very cool. And yeah, there's the dance off and now we're back to power board race and Horgon hunt again in 40. Okay, all right, dance off exists. Let's go check out the vendor and see what we can buy this year. With our nuts. Let's see what our nuts buy us this year. Holy crap, I'm walking over everything. Oh my gosh, I'm walking on air. I'm wa- Ah! I'm magical. Whoa. 
I'm in some other dimension. I have escaped the game. I have transcended the game. I'm a time lord after all. I exist outside of space and time. Ooh, can I run to the ship? <laughs> no. I exist outside of this map. I am not of this world. <laughs> you look at me, everybody. I can see you, but you can't see me. <laughs> oh my gosh, what happened? Where am I? What is going on? This is the best thing ever to happen. I want to keep this forever. <laughs> this is great. I love it. Let's talk to the vendor and see what's available here. Okay, so summer event. You can buy low nut vouchers if you don't want to go do flying high. They're five low by each. You get between two to six prize vouchers per pack. You never know how many you're going to get. So you could end up spending a lot of low buy in order to buy the ship. But that is a way that you can do it without having to play flying high. You can just use your low buy, buy the voucher bundle, and you could have the ship today. But it will take a lot of low buy to do that. Or you can buy low nuts with low buy, which low nuts are used to buy the stuff out of the vendor here. You've got your general consumables like the Bajoran Mojito, Caracal Bowl, Rising Sunrise, Saria Bay Iced Tea. But this is what I want to see is what the new stuff is. This stuff here is from days past. We've got out, we've got Rising Explorer outfits, Beachcomber outfits, Aloha, Red Blue, all kinds of outfits here that have been here from previous years. So you can grab those outfits. It should say with the new ones, but I, maybe it's not. Ground equipment, we have the, uh, this is the new Universal Kit Module this year. It's called the Sandstorm Generator. It's 1,000 low nuts. And as it says here, it creates a blinding sandstorm. It creates a sandstorm which will travel toward your target's location. And to all foes within three, three meters while traveling, it does kinetic damage and 50% shield penetration. And um, a 25% chance to blind the enemy as well. So that is this year's basically kit module reward you can get. Now, somebody in the comments posted this, and I forgot your name, but I did read your comment that they predicted, and I'm going to give all credit to this person. I do not know their name, but you know who you are, and I recognize that you this was your idea. You said that you're putting your money on it, betting on it now, that the winter event kit module is going to be a snowstorm generator <laughs> if we're getting a sandstorm generator for summer then wouldn't it make sense for them to do a snowstorm one for winter i like that idea i actually do and you might actually be right it would make a lot of sense so let's see what happens this winter let's see if you sir or ma'am called it this winter let's see what that console uh, turns out to be that uh, module kit module turns out to be and I bet you might be right <laughs> that would be really awesome if you predicted it like that we've also got from past we've got the hurricane turret we've got uh, the molten terrain uh, all of these things here the seismic agitation field kit modules all of these from the previous incarnations are here as well the one that you have to have if you're a tactical officer, grab the Graviton Spike. It is a really good ability for a tactical officer to have on their kit, on their kit frame. The Graviton Spike is a really cool ability for techs. But what's new this year is they've also turned these abilities into training manuals, which means you can train your bridge officers in one of these abilities, like Hurricane Turret or Molten Terrain or whatever. That way, your bridge officers can use these abilities too when you're on missions that you have bridge officers with so that's really cool that they've turned these into training manuals as well so you have both kit modules and training manuals the manuals are not as expensive but the level three one is 700 so that's quite a bit but then the actual kit module is 1000 so much more for the kit module oh this is new this must be what that guy used this is build a sandcastle for 100 lol nuts uh, remember your vacation in Risa by building a sandcastle. Build a sandcastle with special sands from Risa. Target itself it basically builds a sandcastle. So that's kind of a cool non 
non-combat vanity kind of thing. Um, nothing new here except we've got the Rysian Ceradonx Tiger Stripe Caracals. We've got other ones here. Smoky Amethyst Emerald Tiger. They're tiger based. Tiger looking. the stripes or whatever. Um, so that's what's available here. So the big thing you'll probably want to be looking at is the kit modules and the training manuals. Maybe an outfit or two. GPL items hasn't changed. Floaters. This is where you go to get your floaters. And like I said, this is where I got my very rare floater. The one I'm using is the black one. This one here, Rice of Floater Superior Black. 1,000 low nuts. The new one this year is a bronze, bronze colored floater. Power boards also here as well. The new one is a bronze colored power board. Swimwear. We've got new swimwear, I think, too. Yeah, we've got board shorts, new uh, and just some new designs and stuff. We got uh, rash guard palm print. That looks really cool. Look at that. With the red, I like that. You can be Green Lantern. I like that red one, though. Starfleet one looks pretty cool, too. And then the male ones, you've got the board shorts and all that on male. Yeah, check out that red. I like that. So some new swimwear to play with. So that's where you come to get all the items here at the summer event. Now remember, you can only wear swimwear on Risa. So it doesn't really help you outside of Risa. But the things that do help you outside of Risa in your regular gameplay would be the kit modules or the training manuals. That stuff will help you throughout the entire game. So that's real important stuff there. And I'm still stuck in the world. Let's see if this will get me out of it. There we go. That was fun while it lasted. There's a tailor here as well, so you can customize your clothing for the summer events. We already went over flying high. Um, again, this one will just get you lull nuts now that you did the favors. Let's see how many lull nuts we get for it. We get... 20 lull nuts every time you do it and you can repeat it all day long as much as you want so yeah you need to get a thousand lull nuts just do flying high do the horgon hunt do the sand castle and the power board race and the biathlon race rinse and repeat all day long and you'll get enough lull nuts to buy those things from the vendor like a good floater or a good power board or um, uh, the uh, kit module or whatever you need that's basically how you do that guys well, I think that's going to conclude our look at the summer event. Not much different from past year's summer events. Um, all of the events are the same except for the new biathlon, and I did enjoy the biathlon. That was a lot of fun. It did take a little bit of practice. Didn't get it right the first time, but I did get it right the second time. So it can be learned pretty quickly and uh, succeed. I got third place, and I bet if I really concentrate, I could even do better. But if you get yourself a fast power board and a fast floater, that will give you success on that biathlon. Otherwise, just grinding all these, you know, to get the low nuts you need to buy the stuff you need, and that's pretty much it. Um, so that's the summer event, guys. That's summer event 2017. Drop a comment and let me know what you guys think of this year's summer event. Did they pull it off? Did they do a really awesome job with this year's summer event? Or is it very familiar to you? Does it seem like not a lot has changed? Um, I, I'm interested in your feedback, especially if you have played the summer event previous years, what you think of this year, and if they've, you know, just kind of gone by the numbers, or if they actually, you know, have brought a lot to the table for you. I'm real interested to know what you think of this year's summer event. But that's it. That's pretty much all the events I'm going to do or want to do. I don't really want to do the dance off, um, even though I did go over it at the beginning. You basically just have to repeat the dance moves and you get low nuts. Pretty simple. Uh, but I did do the other stuff, so you've all seen how that's done and how you can acquire the low nuts, how you can acquire the prize vouchers. And remember, the big thing is the free ship. That would be why everybody is coming here, is you want to do the free ship. So 1,000 prize vouchers total, you get 40 a day. Should take you 20 or 21 days or something like that, and you'll have it. But I would start now. You have until July 20th, and then it goes bye-bye. You no longer have a chance to get that ship. 
So good luck, everybody. Have fun with the summer event. Let me know what you think of it. And yeah, just have fun this summer. Have fun in Star Trek Online. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.